So for number eight, you're just trying to see why this slope field doesn't match this differential equation. So um, someone else kind of thought about it as, you know how when it's only in terms of y, that it should be horizontally parallel, but like if you look along one horizontal strip, like they're not horizontally parallel. So that's one reason why it doesn't, you know, doesn't match. Um, what some other kids are doing is they're just like picking a point. Like for example, let's pick the point one one. And if you pick the point, um, like maybe that's not a good example, but like if you put like y equals two into this, the slope should be two times 0.4 is 0.8. But when y is two, for example, it's not, it's here it's zero. So you can try to pick a point that like doesn't, it makes it not work out. For number nine, um, so it's asking you to like find the value of k that makes this diff this equation a solution to this differential equation. So in order for something to be a solution to a differential equation, it needs to be true when you plug it in. So in order to plug it in, I have to first find the second derivative. So I found, this is me finding the first derivative and then find the second derivative. And then here I'm like plugging the whole thing into this equation. So I took this and that's just rewritten there. And then plus 16 times y. So y, that's just the original equation. And then we're trying to make it equal to negative six cosine of two x because that's what's over here. And then just like, you know, simplify and distribute and see what cancels out and like those cancel out. And then we kind of like simplify these two to become 12k cosine of 2x. And then like, we're trying to find the value of k that makes that true. Isn't it true that if k is negative 1 half, then they'll both be negative 6 cosine of 2x. Um, all right, and then now for um, number one on this side. So the rate at which your project is completed. So the rate of change of p. So that would be, and they're telling you that the other variable is x, so dp dx is proportional to the square root of the number of employees x. So is proportional to always means equals a constant times. And then it's just the square root um, of the number of x there. And then here, this is the important part. Here they're just trying to get you to find the value of k. So they just tell you that like dp dx is three and that um, when x is five. So they're just trying to get you to find the k. Um, but be more focused on being able to get that equation. Uh, let me know if that uh, makes sense.